Hello and welcome to Pokesports, a competitive Pokemon podcast. I'm Mike and I play with eh, I don't know, Pokemon on the field. I'm Kevin. I'm waiting for my food. Yeah, Kevin ordered a whole burger right before this podcast started. And now we have to do a podcast in the 30 minutes or less or it's free. That's a lie. The we're podcast probably, is. You're, you're probably going to notice me suddenly disappear in the middle of this. But yeah. the intention wasn't mine. The intention was to have it in my cart ready to go. Yeah. For about 30 minutes into this podcast, I hit, you know, send. Mm-hmm. I guess I was so hungry, I didn't wait the 30 minutes before I hit send, and I just sent it. So, You, now, you did your best, Kevin. I, I I know. <laughs> My best wasn't good enough. Well, that's okay. Welcome to Burger Sports. Uh, I'm your host, Mike, and I play with one burger in my mouth. I'm Kevin. I play with a double cheeseburger with bacon and lettuce, tomato. Oh, yeah. that doesn't sound too bad right about now. <laughs> now you're hungry. Now yeah. Mike orders a burger. <laughs> wait, well, I'm going to wait a good half an hour so that it yeah, yeah. before the right when the podcast ends. Thanks. The uh, see, my problem is I didn't eat all day because I was right. recording, uh, because it is recording day, whoop de doo, mm-hmm. and um, I didn't have breakfast because I woke up late because I was too busy playing Pokemon Go all night. So, we're gonna uh, talk I was re- about that. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I got a lot to say. So, I was in the middle of recording Carbominable. Um, that doesn't sound like a word. <laughs> <laughs> I was Carbominably uh, recording. Okay. And then I try to go search for a new battle. It's just like, season has ended. Sorry. Uh-oh. And, I, and I was playing it out because I knew the season would end. I told my guest, I was like, hey, if you plan on recording today, just so you know, 8 p.m. Eastern is when the season ends. Apparently, uh, I, Daylight Savings doesn't exist in UTC. So we went back and Japan oh. stayed the same. So it was 7 p.m. Does Japan have daylight savings? Oh, man, look at how little I know about the world. Does Japan have daylight savings time? Do you know this answer? Well, I'm going to assume since it's not 8 o'clock and it was 7, that no is the answer. And you're correct. Yeah, Japan does not observe daylight savings time. So that also means DLC is going to (gasps) drop 7 p.m. An hour earlier than it did. You're right. Technically the exact same time, but we're just an hour in the past. Sure. Sure. <laughs> hey, a uh, question for you. No. This is episode 193. What Pokemon oh, is no. it? Um, I'm sitting back in my chair for audio. Listens. Yeah, you are. I'm going to have to guess. Steelix. Steelix. I feel like that's always the... <laughs> I feel like Steelix <laughs> always comes I, up when we're in Gen 2. I know we're in Gen 2. We're in Gen yeah. 2 somewhere. <laughs> I want to go like Sneasel or uh, what's We should the... each have three guesses just because of how clueless we are. It's not Pile of Swine. What's the thing before Pile of Swine? Swineup. Swineup. Yeah, of course. Or Kingdra. Those are okay. going to be my three. I'm going to say Smeargle. Okay. Steelix. You can do it. What's a Gen 2 Pokemon? No, I think Wooper's a lot earlier. Oop. Uh, Togetic. Togetic. Okay. Well, let's go through all of the Pokemon that we've just said. Uh, (laughs) Steelix is incorrect. It's too low. The number of this episode is too low. Steelix is higher. Really? Okay. So I think all the other ones I said are wrong too because they're also higher. I remember them being later in the deck. Smeargle is also too uh, low. It's it's a higher number. I don't know how. You're <laughs> struggling with explaining this to me. How, how do I explain this? <laughs> I don't want to give away the number because you might remember it. You won't. It's 235. No, no. I won't. Uh, and then what was the third one? Togetic. Togetic. But it's wrong. So let me choose again. Okay. Uh, Chin Chow. Do you think Togetic was too high or too low? I think Togetic is later, later in the decks. Well, it's actually it? not. It's, it's 176. Oh, that's because you get Togepi after you help Elm with there the There you egg. go. Yeah. But you think that it, it feels like some kind of pseudo legendary, right? So it feels like a late game mon, you know? Yeah, it's it does. Special. It used to be special and it's pretty good. That's right. And what did you replace this with? Chin Chow. Chin Chow. 
Chin Chan number is also too Bing low. Bong. It's 170. I love the 170s, apparently. Yeah, I you love, do. I'm either good at 170 or 230. So, I mean, nothing in between. <laughs> Steelix was 205. Uh, my Swine Up. Oh, so I'm not far from Steelix. No. That was pretty close. Uh, swine Up is interesting, too. That one's 220. That, that is a late game, though. The snow yeah. stuff was later. Play along at home, by the way. If you don't know your Pokemon numbers like we don't, just remember the gen and see where you see where you land here. Uh, remember I don't when remember we were addicted either to my other clicker. Ones. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you reminded me of it. I might go back. See, it's probably still running. Did you clear your cookies since then? I don't think I did. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. What is number 193? I just looked up. I Googled 193 number, and that did not <laughs> give me any Pokemon. All right. <laughs> Uh, I've got an answer for you, and we're going to help guess this. We're going to guess this together. I, I know the answer, so you're going to guess this. Turn it uh, into a deck. <laughs> give me. Let's do a. Uh, what what's that game? Squirtle. Um, give me a type. Water. Wrong. Ice. Wrong. Steel. Wrong. I failed the word. You did. Yeah, it's it's done. <laughs> Squirtle is over. <clears throat> this is a dual type Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Uh, and it's not those first three types. And okay, I'll did. let you choose one more type. I feel like we've narrowed it down so much that your hit rate is is got to be pretty high. It's almost like there are fifteen other options. Okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> um. And you killed off like 25%, 20% of them. Not bad. What did I, I don't even remember what I said. I, you grace. said water, steel, and something wrong. I don't know. Uh, no, one of the typing is bug. Fly. Area dose? What was that last thing you just said? I was going to say flying. Yeah, flying is also correct. So bug flying. Yeah. All of them do that. Well, not I, really. I, I, so many of them do that, right? <laughs> It didn't help. <laughs> oh, is this Yanma? Is this it's the Yanma? Yanma? Such a waste of a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so, so apt for this, this episode because it's a nothing episode. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we love the nothing episodes. It's not true. We do have some stuff to talk about. Uh, Kevin's been having a lot, of a lot of fun in Pokemon Go. I've gone and moved for people who watching the video version. You're going to look at this and be like, wait a second. I kind of saw him like this, but not like this. What's yeah, going on? I saw this, but in two pixels. Right. Exactly. <laughs> he now he has saw two half billion. a pixel. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we've also got a regional to talk about. And of course, we've got some Indigo Disc stuff to talk about. Just hype in the fact that it's almost here. Crazy there haven't, they haven't like announced more things. I mean, they let people play a whole hour of it. That's fair. But I'm sure that they played and they encountered certain Pokemon and then those certain Pokemon, they just aren't allowed to talk about. Because I think with the mm. Cerebi thing, he said specifically, this is everything we're allowed to share. So that angers me that there are people out there that know things I don't. Yeah, I get that. But you know what people do too, right? It's like they they go through that hour with the express purpose of trying to find any kind of secret. You like think so they they, gate, find... they gatekeep the secrets though? They probably give them like a dev a dev game, right? Maybe, yeah, that's true. I mean, they did that for uh, Oras, right? Maybe. Ever since oh. ever since Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I was like, oh, they're they're being sneaky. Hmm. Like everyone knows, there's someone out there that knows the Applin evolution. Definitely. Or the, what, what's the second one called? Diplin. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Everyone, someone out there knows its evolution. I'm going to call it. Mm -hmm. Well, before anyone has names for it, what are you going to call it? Uh, Driplin. <laughs> Applin, okay. Diplin, and Driplin. Applin, Diplin, Driplin. I'm going to call them. Dip and dot. Mm, Floopal. Floopal. We have Flapple, Appleton, and Floopal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Apple. wait until we're right next week. <laughs> Flapple, Appleton, and Floopal. 
Floopal. Uh, mine would then be uh, Floopleton. <laughs> Munchlin. Munchlax. Crunch. Crunchlax. Cob. Cobblerlin. Oh! Cobble, Cobble pie. Lin. There should be a fairy dark type, kind of okay. like Grimmsnarl, and kind of looking like Grimmsnarl that's like part peach cobbler and part goblin. Why would it be called fairy and dark? Because goblins are dark, right? Oh. And, and fairy cakes, you know, I don't know. Yeah. So okay. we got cobbler, goblin. <laughs> goblin? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we could have a lot of fun just making up Pokemon names. That'd be hire a lot us, of fun. Hire us, Game Freak. Let us play the DLC early. <laughs> I've, I've applied 17 times, and somehow they just won't accept my application. It is written on a scroll. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so Kevin, you have gotten nope. yourself into a, a dangerous hole. habit. Yeah. I've noticed. <laughs> and I would love to know everything about it. How well, did you get is, into it? What's going on? What's your life like? How has it changed? I actually have a story to how I got into it. So I I, I talked about this a little bit on the preach. You know how ahead I get with videos. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. recently, I, this was two weeks ago, the week before Thanksgiving, I had videos done until the month of December. So just to put that into perspective. I was so bored. I had all those videos done, all those thumbnails done, pretty much just waiting for the the upload, essentially. So I was like, okay, I'm going to play some Unite. So I was playing Unite. I got from like Veteran 4 or Veteran 3 to, to Ultra 2 or something. And then I started getting mad at the game like I usually do. Sure. Um. So I put that down. I was like, man, I just want to play a game. That's turn based. It's not required with skill. Doesn't have teammates to hold me back. So I was like, Temtem. They have a Temtem showdown. So I went and downloaded Temtem showdown. Really? And then I learned that the developer said they are no longer adding new content to Temtem showdown. So in my brain, I was like, what's the point? <laughs> so I uninstalled Temtem showdown. <laughs> What kind of content would you need to add to Temtem Showdown? Like, there's no, they're, they're, they're done. There's no balance. Like, they had balance patches. They said they're done doing balance patches. So, oh, they were balancing their, their uh, Temtems? Yeah. So, I guess just the developers said there's not going to be continued support. And typically, when a game doesn't have continued support, people stop playing it. Mm. Just imagine League of Legends one day it was like, yeah, this is the game. That's it. Yeah. But I mean, the the thing that Temtem is copying is Pokemon, which doesn't like expressly doesn't change. Well, that, well, they make new games. I guess this so. Im- yeah, this implies that Temtem is no longer making a new Temtem. Wow. Do you think so, in Pokemon? I, I don't want to cut off your story. I do want to hear the rest of yeah, this bo- bookmark. Uh, do you think that if Pokemon tomorrow was like, yeah, we're not making any more Pokemon games, that people would stop playing Pokemon? Maybe not at this level. Because mm. people haven't stopped playing Melee despite everything Nintendo tries to do. That's true. Mm-hmm. That is true. Yeah. I guess it depends oh. on how good the game is. If they huh. like if they made a Pokemon showdown official and then said, okay, we're done. Pokemon's dead, I think people will keep playing. Is this Temtem Showdown on the Switch? No. It's um uh, it's on PC. Browser? It's a Steam game. Oh, it's a Steam game. Okay. And it's free. It's free to play. No, oh, there you go. Okay, uh, continue. So then I started playing Pokemon Go because I remember that you said you started playing Pokemon Go and you were catching Pokemon when you were in Toronto. So I was like, okay. And then I started playing competitive Pokemon Go. Oh, no. And then I went into a rabbit hole. So it has been maybe 10 days since Kevin has decided to make this dive into Pokemon Go. Yeah, about a week. And it probably feels like a little more than 10 days. Have, have I showed you my updated document? I have a whole word. You have document. a document? It's when you make a document that it's like <laughs> you've gone too far. 
I have a Google Sheets. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? I yes, I got the Go Plus Plus so that I could go and you know connect it to yeah. my game, walk around, catch some Pokemon without needing to open up my game. Uh, but you know what I didn't do is make a spreadsheet. You need to <laughs> give me access to this thing, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> so there's that. I I opened up Go. I updated it. I tried to clear out as many missions as possible because I like to collect them. I like to go in and be like, oh, what's, so you what's don't, the professor doing for me this time? So I'm the only one that opens up their IVs and throws them in the trash if they're not good enough? <laughs> well, you kind of have to do that. Because yeah, yeah. otherwise you're going to fill up your box and, and have to buy more box. So the thing that... I, that that did kind of sell me on it was that I could take my Go Plus Plus, yes, be at work, have this in my pocket, and click buttons, and then I'm catching Pokemon while playing a game. So again, that's kind of what sold me on. I was like, I might as well do this when you know I'm walking around anyway. The thing is, like, once I started doing that, I was like, oh, there has to be something I could do with all these creatures. Oh wait, there's a PvP now. And I've always been annoyed by like the noises at regionals when I'm trying to play a game with no headphones, just saying <laughs> blink, 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 and yeah. not knowing what that was. And then eventually I realized what that was. I'm like, let's go. Because I hear those noises. Uh so then, you know, I started looking at all the IVs. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna catch anything unless it's three star or better. I'm gonna trash it. Uh big mistake. Because in competitive great league, you don't actually want three stars. No. Well, not always, right? Um, Pretty much most of the time, you don't want to attack. Yeah, most of the time, you don't want to attack at all. Because the way that works is when calculating CP, attack counts for two points, and defense and stamina each count for one point. So to get to the closest possible um, CP while still having the highest level, you don't want any attack. I don't think anybody has ever explained it to me so clearly as oh, you, you just did. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the reason. I, I've I've always heard from people that are like, oh no, you don't want to attack. And I'm like, but but why? What do you mean? The only I, time you want to attack is if you're in master, because then it's uncapped. Uh, yeah. I see. But that's not that's also not the uh the competitive standard, one. Right. Yeah. That's like playing a triple battle. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much why you don't want any attacks. So there, there are very few instances. And that's also why Metacham is so stupid. Because mm-hmm. Metacham is such a crappy Pokemon that you can run five attack on it and you can oh. still not hit 1500. Really? Yeah. <laughs> to the point where oh. levels are all that matters and go for the most part. Mm-hmm. And Metacham is such a garbage Pokemon that you can level it up to 50 have five IVs in attack, 15 in defense, and 15 in stamina, and it's still not 15. I think it's exactly 1,500. I was <laughs> always wondering why that was. But then, like, you look at other Pokemon, right? I'm looking at this spreadsheet you got going here, and this uh, Metacham preferred level 50. Uh, just thinking about it, like, you running 15 HP, 15 uh, defense IVs, the max IVs, I assume that is, correct? Yeah, those are max, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you have your preferred level. That means that you're getting the highest amount of uh, defense and HP that you can get. Now, is 15 HP for a Metacham different than 15 HP for a, Car- a Carbink? Uh, I believe, yeah, yeah, they all have Quagger. they all have base stats too. They've yeah. got base stats. I but see. that that's what CP is. It's like the culmination of those base stats mm. will equal fifteen hundred. It's the addition of those base stats. I believe. What does that stand for in Go? Um, I don't know. Cap points, charge points, cool points, cool points. <laughs> Whoa, let's call them cool points from now on. Thanks. They're gonna be cool points. Yeah. Yeah. If so you want to look at what the meta is, here you go. Right. What the meta cham is. What is the meta cham here? I know that uh Picoletics had for a little while. Oh yeah. Best Pokemon amongst uh, what's this? Multiple roles. Okay. Yeah, the number one is Metacham. Wow. Uh, that has a ninety-six point one 
score. I don't know what score implies, but yeah, this is just Great League. Other leagues exist, but this is the one that's actually played it tournaments. So, so you mm-hmm. you you're going from seeing Fluttermane everywhere to seeing Metacham, Carbink, Lickitung, and Gligar. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine. This is the situation we're in. Yes. <laughs> this is the world we live in. This is wild. Oh, cool! Claude Sires made it. I yeah. love all of these other metas where Claude Sire is allowed to thrive. <laughs> Claude Sires here, folks. Claude Sires here. It's there for go. It's there for singles. Like Claude Sires got you. It's so good on paper, but so bad in practice. But apparently, good in go. If you notice, like Go, it real, it's really nice being tanky in Go. Because you have Metacham and then everything else is like tanky. It's like high stats. Yeah. So do you think it's worth me going like through all of my Pokemon and just being like, oh, I've got a Metacham. I need to go and see what it's got. I've got a Carbink. need to go see what it's got. Like, is that I, how I, you're I, doing it? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you plan on playing Go competitively, yeah. Mm. But it... It's like, I don't know, I watched a couple of videos on it. I think I completely get the gist of it. Right. It's, it's interesting because there's no hacks. There's no um, misses. Right. There's no statuses. It's just which opponent can time it better and which opponent can um, do the right switches at the right time. It's very... It's not turn based. It's theoretically turn based. I think a, a one turn and go is 0.5 seconds. Oh. It's just decision based. Mm. You have to know when to use your two shields. You have to know when to switch out to the appropriate Pokemon because once you switch out and go, there's like a one minute timer that you can't switch out again. Uh-huh. So there's a situation where you can get locked in on a bad switch. Like, for instance, say you swap in, um, say you swap in a Swampert to deal with an opposing Metagross or something. Right. And then Swampert. that person swaps it into like a superior. That Ooh. Swampert is now stuck on the field for one minute with a superior. Swap So you have to be swap here. Yeah. You have to it's be swap here then. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> mm, okay. But yeah. Well, that's the, interesting. The one, yeah. the one thing that I don't like uh, too much about this is it's very hard to get some of these Pokemon. Again, you have to have very accurate IVs to the point where it's nearly impossible to have perfect IVs. Only the people at the top of the stage will have the perfect ones. Um, Every time you trade and go, it randomizes IVs. So you can't even just trade with people. You can't even just like, I guess, purchase it online because it'll randomize it. Um, And on top of that, if you don't already have that Pokemon in the Pokedex, it counts as a special Pokemon in which you can only trade once per day. They, they Pokemon Go goes really hard to make this really difficult to get these Pokemon, but also discourage cheating, which, fine, I get it. I'm, but yeah. some of these moves are legacy moves. Like, for instance, Swamper with Hydro Cannon, you can't just get anymore. You have to wait for a Mudkip Community Day or use an Elite TM Charge thing, mm. which is very rare. But you do so, get them. They exist, and you do get them. I almost wish, wish that you can purchase them. Because mm-hmm. I would just purchase them all. Because Hydro Cannon is such a must on Swampert, it's ridiculous. There's no right. other better alternative. And I mean, what you're saying right now is very indicative of somebody who has played this game for seven days and has put together <laughs> a spreadsheet on it. Because you're like, I want all of these things now. Why can't I have all of these I'm things now? Honestly, it's gotten to the point where I originally I started like again with this spreadsheet of like, okay, this is everything that I want. Mm-hmm. Um versus what I have. And as you can see, like I, I have if you look at Lick a Tongue, for example, like I sure. the perfect Lick a Tongue would be an 8, 14, 15. I have an 8, 15, 13, which is the fifth best one. Ooh. I settle for that. You know, fifth best, I'm keeping, I'm running with, I'm never getting closer than fifth best. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I gotta get level 50 with this thing. Which means I got to get level 40 in game to use Excel candies, and I'm currently only 28. Mm. Do people still use like third party programs to like look at their Pokemon stats and stuff? No, it's in the game. I know it's in the game, but like when I first uh, was playing Pokemon Go back in 2016 out in, mm-hmm. out in Ottawa, um, 
there were people who were walking around with like this little app that that was kind of an overlay uh, on the phone. And when you would look at the stats, it would mark down like exactly what the IVs were and what like the the score was. Does that actually like not matter if you actually know what what you're looking at? You can memorize the ticks. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, you know what the ticks are. Each tick is five. So you just divide it by what it is. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. If you look at the, uh, if you appraise it, each tick is just five. And it's 15 total if it's full. And then divide that by five and you eventually get what you got. Oh, okay. That's, I mean, that's, that's kind of cool. I like how you put my IVs. I don't because I know you're going to destroy me because I did not optimize my stuff nearly as much as you did. You're probably going to go through your box one of these days and be like, yo, I got such good Pokemon. (laughs) I'm pretty sure I do, but I I do keep only the three stars these days. Oh, then you don't have any good Pokemon. (laughs) I don't have any good Pokemon. I've I've dumped all of the two stars, all the one stars. (laughs) I don't have the box room, Kevin. What's a box? Oh, oh, the room in my box. <laughs> the room in the box. Hey, it's us. I don't know when I'm going to put this in, but oh my gosh, the second we ended this podcast, uh, regulation F was announced. Yeah. So we it's hopped exactly right back on. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's exactly what we expected. Allows the use of Pokemon added from the Indigo disc. A full list will be available on December 25th. Santa's going to bring us the full <laughs> list of Indigo <laughs> Disc Pokemon. On Christmas. <laughs> wow. Interesting that they gave us the exact date of what the Pokemon will be. So yeah. we're not actually going to know officially until, uh, what is that, a week before the official thing runs. And it runs sure. from January 4th to April 30th. That's four months. Four so regulation months. F. F. Not bad. I, I like that, though. I like that though. There's going to be a lot of regionals with Whimsicott in it. (laughs) I can tell you at least we know four Pokemon that will be there because that's what the image says. There is a Metagross. Yep. There's an Archiludon, a Sinistra, and a Whimsicott. So those are four that we know currently. Sinistra is the is one that isn't returning but is already here. Yes. So strange that it showed that one on the picture. Listen, you want to play with uh, T. Sure. We spend 20, 30 minutes talking about your Pokemon Go addiction, and we spend a minute and 49 seconds on <laughs> Regulation F. What else do you want us to say? They all, that's all he gave us. I mean, you're right. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Moving on. A Good wild dance. regional appeared. Oh. I had to go and look up how to pronounce this, and yeah, it is just Gdansk. Gdansk in Poland had a regional from November 25th to 26th and had 576 players, if you can believe it. Oh, dang. That's a lot. Usually you don't see that many players in places like Poland. But here there were tons. And lots from okay. like all over the place, right? You've, you've got people from Italy. You've got people from uh, the UK. You've got people from the U.S., And this is kind of what I was expecting to happen when they started saying, okay, we're going to give you more money and a potential world's invite (laughs) if you come out to our regionals. There's more people here now. (laughs) They have really incentivized people to to go out and be a part of these things. And that's that's really cool. Uh, Because, again, if you don't if you don't remember, the winner is walking away with six thousand dollars and a 2024 world's invite not to mention the 200 championship points that they earn with it second place gets four thousand dollars and 160 championship points uh third and fourth get two thousand and 130 and then fifth through eighth get a thousand dollars and a hundred championship points like it's really good 750 dollars for uh eighth uh, ninth through 16th as well as we're speaking, I, I'm realizing that there was also a uh, a Brisbane regionals that exact same weekend. <laughs> so that's right, go. yeah, Brisbane as well. About. Also giving out the same amount of money all across the board, uh, money and invites, and we're going to be talking about them both. But let's start with Gdansk. All right, Gdansk. we have the top four from there. We've got Tom Winter. Uh, coming in fourth, run, uh, rolling in with a Chen Pal, Volcarona, Aya, Urine Hands. 
Uh, your iron hands. <laughs> Uh, Sinister King Gambit and Landorus Therian. Anything to say That's about this team? That's got to be the most creative team here. Wow. Uh, a lot of sucker punch. A lot of priority on this team, actually. Yeah. We got a Volcarona. When yes, was the last time you saw a Volcarona? Also, wow. King Gambit showing up again. Yeah, this one's That's got a the dread plate, team. though. I don't know the... about that dread plate. I prefer some black glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to see if there's anything interesting with the the setup here. Well, I mean, you've got the Sinister with the Trick Room. Uh, really sets up your King Gambit and your Iron Hands really well. Uh, this team has a lot of, like, anti-speed. But also it has Quiver Dance on Volk. This looks like a an offensive Volcarona, or at least a little bit more offensive than most. Oh, definitely. It's, it's running just Quiver Dance, Giga, Flamethrower, and Protect. So not Heat Wave. So our friend Tom doesn't like to miss. And just... Hey, I'm going to set up in your face and then you're going to have to worry about me. There's no redirection. There's no struggle bug. It's just, I'm going to hurt. Mm-hmm. I can respect a flamethrower on a Volcarona over a heat wave. I, I like the, you know, I'm not going to leave things up to chance here. I want to hit you mm-hmm. with something really hard. Um, I feel like usually when people are using heat wave or any spread move for that matter, it's like, I want to do a lot of damage to one of those Pokemon. I'm using my heat wave so that I'll do damage to both, but really my target is one. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not going to use a heat wave on an iron hands and a uh, Landorus because what's the point? What am I trying to do? Burn them? I guess. Yeah. But I, I would Flame do it if it's like a too. King Gambit and a, and a Landorus, right? There's also probably some calcs that flamethrower can take out, but heat wave since it's a spread move no longer yes. can. Right. Exactly. Well, there, there are always those calcs. Yeah. And I mean, also, there's probably some calcs where flamethrower isn't enough, too. And then you just got to go with fire, hyper beam. Blast burn, Volcarona. Blast burn, Volcarona. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Coming in third was Eric Rios. Salamence. Yeah, bringing in a Salamence. Wow, Salamence. Uh, King Gambit Heatran. Rillaboom, Fluttermane, and Wellspring Ogre Pond. Bringing in the Water Pond. Yeah, Water Pond has kind of become it. Yeah, it feels like it. Water Pond, one, two, is, three. The Hearth Flame is dying. Yeah, three in top eight of Water Pond, two Hearth Flame in top eight. But the top two teams have no Ogre Pond at all, and only That's one right. Ogre Pond in the top four. Yeah. People are trying with Ogre Pond. It's struggling, but we're trying. Well, and we only have a good, what, two weeks to try uh, more. And then Indigo Disc is going to come out. And I have a feeling that that is going to not necessarily knock Ogre Pond completely out, but there's going to be a lot bigger fish to fry. I think it's definitely going to be Water Pond and Indigo, though. Yeah. With with Ensign coming back, it's like, yeah, you're going to want the Water Pond. For sure. All right. Looking at Simone Sanvito, who came in second, $4,000 to you. Uh Came in with the Fluttermane, Chen Pao, Tornadus, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, and Hisuian Arcanine. Again, this we've seen this team over and over and over, and because it's really good. Sanvi, this is the same team that Sanvi used to win a regional earlier in the year. Yeah. Um, yeah, he keeps bringing this team to regionals, and he keeps doing incredibly well with it. So what can I say? He, like, he knows how to use this team in and out by now like this is his team he's figured it out he can go to events and make four thousand dollars consistently at this point like (laughs) that's not bad you put you put six pokemon together and now you're (laughs) you're winning multiple thousands of dollars and now this is your personality (laughs) this team is my personality oh and then once once indigo disc comes out the personality is going to change a little bit oh oh it's okay the, the, like, in, the arc and I will turn into an instant, but the team will still be the same. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. This team is going to look <laughs> so much like, wow. And even if you look at the first person, uh person who came in first, Oliver Eskelin, uh, coming from Finland. Cool. Uh, coming in with a his, his Sui and Arcanine, uh, Urshifu Rapid Strike, the Golden sh- Go, his sh- Sui and Rapid Strike. What? His Sui and Urshifu. I'm going to start that what? whole thing again. Listen, <laughs> it's a rapid strike Urshifu. Urshifu. <laughs> Let me tell you about the Hisuian Urshifu, all right? 
It's not a it's not a fighter, it's a lover. It it will give really good <laughs> hugs, this Hisuian or Shifu. It's a it doesn't water have fairy type. <laughs> right. Right. It doesn't have close combat. It has embrace. It doesn't have unseen fist. It's 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 seen fully uh, focused arms. fist. <laughs> Full unseen hug. <laughs> right. Seen hug. <laughs> <laughs> Rapid striker, Shifu. It's Yasu- the same team with a golden go. Oh my god, no, let me say power, it. <laughs> <laughs> golden go, Tornadus, Rillaboom, Flutterman. Yes, it's the same team as before, just with a golden go instead of a Chen Pao. It's good, though. It's a good team. It's golden good. Is it? Is it like Steel the exact Beam? Same? Golden go again. Or nah? Um, no, no, no. I think the moves are different. Are the they? Tornadus, that's, that's my are- question. E- Woodhammer Grassy Glass. I mean, the Rillaboom does have a uh, pr- uh, Grassy Glide U turn. U turn. Yeah, one on- Tornado says Taunt, the other one does has Protect. Yeah. I hope that's so. Not the only very difference. subtle differences on these teams. So it's not like they took the exact same Pokemon and just slapped a Golden Go on it. Oh, this guy's Oliver's running a Ghost Rillaboom. That's not the same. Hmm. That's Oliver's different. running a Citrus Berry Hisuian Arcanine. Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, Willow Wisp, Extreme Speed. Oh, Willow. Yeah. Yeah, Willow's Willow. annoying. Meanwhile, one of those. meanwhile, Simone's uh, Hisuian Arcanine is the Hisuian Arcanine you'd think of with a with a choice band. The band. Just head Smash, Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Terra, Terra Normal. Good stuff. Scary yeah, stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, so I mean, uh, Gdansk was uh, was a time. Meanwhile, in Brisbane, on the other quarter side of, of the, the world. world from there, other side from us, uh, we had an all Australian top eight, which is important to note because there were people from China, there were people from Japan uh, here on this on this one here. There were people from Singapore as well. Interesting. There's even one from Spain. Someone should have told him Kadansk was having a regional. <laughs> Maybe he signed up too late for that one. <laughs> Maybe he signed up for the wrong one and was just like, you know what? It's okay. I'll, I'll just I'll make the flight. We'll make a trip out of this. <laughs> so the top four over there, we've got uh, Connor Betts going in with, ooh, it's the Indeedy Armor Rouge. We've got Hisuian Size Lilig- spam. <laughs> Size spam, exactly. We've got Hisuian Lilligant. We've got Torkoal, Reggie Drago, Ursaluna, Armor Rouge, and Indeedy. That Armor Rouge is, is uh, its days are numbered, man. <laughs> Listen, if once that expanding force comes to the Hatterene, rest in peace, Armor Rouge. See you next right. year. The, uh, <laughs> but what's interesting here is that Size spam not only took fourth, it also took third. Mm-hmm. And then Dust Clops took second, so kind of a trick room, I guess. But we we skipped fifth because we usually don't go through number fifth. But there's a whole Clefable in fifth. I know. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> like, hold on, we almost can't skip this. Daniel one. Daniel Walker, I love you. <laughs> Daniel Walker comes in with a uh, Hearth Flame Ogre Pond, Glamora, Rillaboom, Lander Asterian, King Gambit, and Clefable wearing a Rocky helmet. With the ability unaware in the Terra type water. It's very important that I mention these things because it's a Clefable. Uh, running Moonblast, Ice Beam, Follow Me, and Protect. Brought that in, won a thousand dollars. He saw a dex of 120 Pokemon, 1,200 Pokemon, and he was like, Clefable. No, I love it. I love that choice. I have no idea why. But I love Don that Dozo? choice. Don Dozo? That is... Dragon Don Dozos are popular. Clefable sure. with Unaware is probably the best way into it. Oh. Yeah. And you could smack them with some ice beams and some moon blasts if they decide to dragon tear in front of you. That's so cool. So Also, Rocky mm-hmm. Helmet with Water Terror is Urshifu. Or Rapid Strike stuff. I mean, while that rocks... My <laughs> inner monologue is is telling me that oops, I accidentally evolved my Clefairy. And <laughs> I held a moonstone a little too close to my Clefairy. 
And I love that friend guard. And oops, what happened? This thing grew wings. How about I'm going to I'm going to turn that story into something else. OK. I can't wait to see what it turns into. I'm trying to find another competitive Pokemon that starts with C. Anyway, this did uh, this team did come in fifth while Kevin looks that up. Uh, so okay. congratulations to Daniel Walker. Yeah. So so Daniel was was on RK9, right? Mm-hmm. And then as he's filling out his team sheet, he accidentally goes to type Cresselia. Oh. He just types C and enter. And now suddenly he has the Clefable in his in his in his uh you know in, in his, his team party, sheet. Yeah. It's the day of the tournament. It's too late to change. 7.30 has struck. It's now 7.31. So he realizes this. He's like, you know what? Let's make a budget Cresselia out of this. So they give it Moonblast. They give it Ice Beam. You can't give it Trick Room, so you give it Follow Me instead. <laughs> and then here we are. That's <laughs> wild. And then end of the day wins $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm immensely proud of you, Daniel Walker. Congratulations, <laughs> Daniel. Please reach out on Twitter if you ever hear this uh, and just, you know, acknowledge me. I will I will forever be happy. Uh, tell us what happened if anything happened. Tell us if you used it ever and how well it did, because clearly it, it did all right. You ended up seven and one. Um, Vivek Arunagiri uh, came in third. Uh, came in with a water pond. Indeedy female, King Gambit, Fluttermane, Lander Astherian, and Armor Rouge. That's a good team. There's a good team. It's just a good Side team. spam stuff again. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I, I like seeing Armor Rouge this high up because it typically doesn't get this high up. Mm. And I also do like seeing King Gambit played a little bit more because again it feels like it fell off and now it's here then it fell off and now it's back. So it's like it, it really has a hard time deciding what it wants to do. I like seeing a water pond on a size spam team. I just think okay, it I'm looking at this. Hmm. I just realized we have the leech coming up soon. I didn't submit a team yet or even do anything. Get going. Um, is is the is that soon? The, you, it's the tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to this now, I guess you might as well extend it to Saturday at this point. I guess so. you might be listening to this now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if one more day for the league, I, I guess go I didn't. sign up for the league. <laughs> there you go. That's patreon.com slash pokesports. I would play the music, but I don't have the music. It's just not playing ba, ba, today. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Uh, so go and do that. <clears throat> Lewis Tan came in second. Uh, and that's the Dusclops that you're talking about. The Iron Hands, Amoongus, Roaring Moon, Heatran, Dusclops, and Lander Asterion. It's good. It's a good team. It's a good team. I I know this team. I know this team. I've faced, uh, you know, things this team flavored before. You hate Dusclops. I hate Dusclops. That's like the bane of Michael, right? Yeah. It ruined ruined my last regional. Uh, I feel like if I had ways around that, I would have done much better at that regional. But oops. Dusclops legitimately uh, made Mike drop. (laughs) He's like, I'm done. (laughs) Mm -hmm. No more. Oh, I'm this might have been, uh, facing these things? Mm, no, sorry, I'm out. I think it was like a Mungus Dusclops team. And there's an Amoongus and Dusclops on this team too, so this might have been yep. like a similar enough team to give you. One PTSD. of the games was Amoongus, one of the games was Dusclops. This one has both of them, so I understand why it's second. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, what can you say about this team? Tell I like Roaring Moon here. Yeah, there it is. Dragon Dance. Roaring Moon, Dragon Dance with Acrobatics, Knock Off, etc. I like seeing Roaring Moon with Knock Off. I feel like a lot of people didn't realize that right away, that it's really good, but it's really good. Hey, Mike, you know one of the things that can uh, one-shot a Dusclops? A Roaring yes. Moon with Knock Off. <laughs> hmm. And even if it doesn't, you got it, rid it of will next Light. time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the worst thing about Eviolite is Eviolite. <laughs> like <it's, laughs> man, that thing, it, it does so much. It's having to use it. Yes, yeah. that is the worst thing. You know that whole like thing about assault vest, how its drawback is that you can't use any status moves and you can't use protect anymore. This thing is like its drawback is just uh you got to use a pokemon that isn't full. <laughs> <laughs> but you still get a ton of defense and special defense. 
you got defense and special defense. Like that's oh, that's such a good trade off, man. The item's broken. The item's broken. It's like you went from you know the biggest drawback of Eevee Light is the fact you have to use Eevee Light to Eevee Light is broken in the span of thirty seconds. No, those are two opposite sides of the spectrum. <laughs> no, man. No, man. Not at all. Not at all. That Eevee Light nah, is so good. Nah, dude. <laughs> All right, coming in first was Nicholas Can. Nicholas Can bring it brings a Flutterman. Yeah. It's a Flutterman Lander Therian, Heatran, Iron Hands, Ogre Pond, Wellspring style, and uh Amoongus. So again with the Amoongus. Big Amoongus. Double Amoongus. Double yeah, Moongus. Four Amoongus in top eight. Yeah. Um, Kevin, do you have to pick up a burger? Um, he is two blocks away. He's two okay. Okay, we've, we've still got time. We're, we're doing good. <laughs> I do. All right. I do. Amazing. Have... Amazing, amazing. Uh, well, that's, I don't know that's why all he's for the, regionals. the long way, but he is. <laughs> the long way. <laughs> the long way. All right. Well, that is that. Is that. We're, we're done that section, so at least we can move on here. Um, I've got Q&A. Do you want to do Q&A? Real quick, for those that care about the World Cup of Pokemon, um, yeah. top eight is currently decided already Ooh. we yeah top eight is taking place from november 27th to december 3rd it's italy versus india shout out to rowan uh china versus united kingdom germany versus japan and then taiwan versus argentina mm. if those are any of your con- countries you might want to be rooting for some people there you go all right i've got a question from last uh Last week, last week's okay. episode, one ninety two. Is it called Heatran or Heatran? Illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Jail. Um, <clears throat> I had asked the question: What new Indigo disc moves slash Pokemon slash items slash reveals are you the most excited for? Kevin, do you have a most excited for move Pokemon item reveal? Expanding force. Expanding force. And you know what? Mewtwo and Ultura agrees with you. Expanding Force is back, baby. Get ready for Psy, and then in brackets, Copath, Spam, version 2.0. All the moves and strats we love, with only more this time. Hatterene combined with the current Psy Spammers will be broken. Everyone's like, just run a dark type if you hate Psy Spam. Hatterene's <laughs> like, fine. <laughs> Hatterene's like, moon. Hatterene's no. like, dazzle. <laughs> very terra terra blast <laughs> very terra terra blast that's <laughs> i don't know how you manage to turn lightning, that in. very yeah. very frightening <laughs> <laughs> i was about to say a system of a down song but like yes that too <laughs> very terra terra blast <laughs> uh you depend on ag pope says i am excited to use upper hand i can't i believe it has a lot of prof- uh, potential and uh kevin once again the upper hand upper hand is the fake outing fake out, that fake outs opposing fake outs. Right. Uh, Aiden Lafferty says, seeing the new Terrastal mechanic for the first time and what it does to the meta. Yes. Oh, yeah, there's like a whole new type that we still don't know about. How do we still not know? How do we still not know what that's going to do? We're going to probably still not know next week. And then the week after that, we're all going to know. Right. Nobody's going to know. They're going to know. Dude. That part makes me upset that there's like a handful of people who probably maybe know what that is. You and think so? Yeah, you think they would have got know. that out of one hour of the DLC? I don't know. Maybe don't not know. one hour. I don't know. <sighs> I think we should let speedrunners uh, play the DLC next time. Just okay. let them see yeah. how far they get. Let it go. <laughs> let them play what the game devs think is an hour's <laughs> worth of the game. <laughs> And then see how much they can actually make it. Ben says Reuniclus, not be not really because of competitive, since I already liked it before getting into VGC stuff. However, uh, now that I am, I also got really excited to test it in Trick Room teams. And honestly, honestly, Reuniclus hasn't seen like a ton of play before in metas that it was in. But I think this is a gimmick. Terrestrialization is a gimmick where Pokemon like that are allowed to play. Hey, fun fact, uh, Reuniclus has overcoat, so you can't spore it. Pretty, And it's lower than a, 
about maybe it's not slower than Amoongus. It's base 30 speed, so it's about the same as Amoongus. Yeah. There you go. But there I mean, I guess so so does Hatterin. You can't spoil that one either. Um Well. I do like its design though. I agree with you. <laughs> He's a little baby boy. <laughs> He's a little guy. He goes into a bigger guy. He's a little Will guy. Will he ever be born? <laughs> Who knows? Mm-hmm. Lupus says, I'm more excited to see what the new moves are than the returning moves. So what the new moves are than the returning moves. Also, it's pronounced H-E-A-T-R-A-N. So That's what I said. That's, you know? He ran, he ran. Uh-oh. Oh, you said it wrong both times. Uh, oopty doopty. <laughs> you said that wrong, too. Amnesia says, I'm excited to see Entei's new paradox. Come on, Triceratops of Fire. Oh, we got a problem. What? My dasher dropped this off at not my house. Oh, no. <laughs> Colin, what are you doing, Colin? Oh, no, get Colin, Colin out on the pod. <laughs> Colin, two stars. <laughs> Come on, Colin. Two stars. <laughs> I gotta go to the neighbor's house now to get my food. That's the that, that's the opposite of where I wanted to go. Oh no. Okay, we'll speed run through some of these and then we'll go. Okay. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, Alex says, uh, "Glad you uh, glad you guys found a good day to do your podcast. I know it won't happen, but dang, I would love a paradox, my champ. A question for you guys: What's your favorite Pokemon? You haven't made it clear. Uh, Kevin, what's your favorite Wobbuffet. Pokemon? Wobbuffet. Uh, Wobbuffet. Yeah, my, what's my favorite Pokemon? Uh, Paradox Machamp. Um, <laughs> still oh, not clear. He still didn't get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Toast McCray says, super excited to see Curse return as a TM along with Ghost Terra. Probably won't see much play, but I'm sure creative team builders will take a stab at it. P.S. It's pronounced Heatran. <laughs> yeah, Heatran. <ran. laughs> Raven Boy says, honestly, I'm so excited for our Chalodon. I know its move isn't the greatest, but I'm so happy about how they look. Uh, hot take. Not super happy about the concept of upper hand. Too contrived for me. And Kevin, one more time. What is upper hand? The fake out and fake out that fake out supposedly fake out. Hoodly doodly says, I'm very excited to get Incineroar back. Love that thing since before Intimidate was available for it. Also, I'm excited for Iron Hands to potentially get access to Electroweb with the coming DM. No. Jetpack the 67 oh, no. says, I'm excited for TPC to make Iron Crown have a base 136 speed so that it can outspeed an Oko Fluttermane with booster energy plus max speed plus tachyon cutter if it isn't a special attacker. Dot, dot, dot. Brother, that's right. We don't even know stats yet. No, Jeez. we don't know, right? <laughs> also, I, I'm just looking at it, I feel like I get a pretty good sense of certain Pokemon and, uh, you know, like what their stats are going to be. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, I don't see this thing getting 136 speed. I got I got to be honest with you. I don't I, doubt, I don't yeah. see it that speedy. Then again, did I expect Fluttermane to be 135? No, no, no. I did not. Mischievous is like not even close. <laughs> yeah, Mister Cretastic here says excited for my boy Septile to come back. I don't know if Kevin remembers, but the first team of mine he featured in the channel was Septile, so you know that's the first team I'm building. Hey, I'll play it. There you go. I'll do it again. <laughs> and if you want to feature a team on our channel, youtube.com slash Pokesports, you can go ahead and head to Pokesports.info where you can go to our Discord, go to our rental code channel, and go and drop a Poke Paste and a rental code. I really have to stress this. Please do drop both if you can. We rarely pick the ones that just have one or the other. Um because it, we try to be inclusive for, for our audience, and it's very hard to guess what EVs and IVs are going to be if you just give a rental code. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's a Poke Sports. Kevin has a burger sitting on the street. I gotta go fix Colin's mistake. Cats. Gotta go fix <laughs> Colin's <laughs> mistake. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>